Ladies and gentlemen, all creatures, great and small, welcome back. As in today's video, we highlight that despite nerfing the C4, Mac 10, and Kilo in individual updates, they are just as powerful as ever. And we started off with a beautiful C4 kill in a game of Blood Money. In this one, we see that despite bringing your full team to a bunker to take down one man, it doesn't always necessarily work. Particularly in a game of plunder, where you're not going to get much money for killing a king. Oh, treble down. Team wipe. Nobody else around you, man. Quad feed. Whoop, whoop. Get out. Get out of them. But don't go fire station, man. Uh huh. Oh yeah, shit, that's bad over there, holy crap. Where'd all that money go, is what I'm wondering. I got a quad feed and plunder, I'm chuffed with that. Oh, they're back. I'm not entirely sure why I love this one so much, particularly because there's so many people going into the bunker, I never saw the chance of getting in. But it's just this guy up on the public toilets right here. We have the same loadouts pretty much. Obviously for he's got a bouncing Betty. And we just do a nice little dance, nice little trade-off to see who can... Last the best. And there is no audio in this one. It had to be cut for <coughs> certain reasons. Shit. Here the Kilo shows its power oh, and might I'm even down. still, despite DMRs and MAC-10s dominating the, oh, shit, I hit the wrong loadout. loadouts of most players There's in the game at this way. point. Though so I wouldn't recommend going I three know. on one with any enemy team. But then again, it is me. me. Who's got a self? Not me. Not me. Him. There we go. Yeah, team wipe. I thought I'd include this as a little shout out to Illus954 who ends the game with a beautiful and honourable execution. Uh, I'm not so honourable in t bag yeah. game, however. And finally, I had to include this one as it'll probably stand out as my all time favourite battle. A power bunker and definitely the one I walked away with the most kills in. Starts off as a completely normal fight, DMRs, Mac 10s, you know the role. But you can see from that, Mac 10s possibly have been nerfed unless you're using the speed mag. And we just seen the grenade launcher. The which we're now going to use for Person most of the remainder of this video to just enjoy the absolute carnage you can <laughs> bring on the enemy team. Hmm. Including some sneaky revives that don't do them much good. The important thing if you're using a grenade launcher is definitely to have an ammo box. Because despite this being a very powerful weapon, unless your shot lands on target, you are in trouble. What puzzled me about this here is just the amount of bullets he spawns. I knew my aim can be bad sometimes, but that just felt ridiculous. I have to admit. Is a good distraction gun? A uh, launcher? Uh, not necessarily one that would bring into war if it indeed had a loadout. But close quarter situations like these, it's ideal just for suppression alone. Hey, v, when you care if there's one in there. I don't have one. Down them. And after nine kills and <laughs> countless like grenades later, we still have a helicopter. And we get out of there <laughs> to continue on the battle oh, after shit. nine kills and a very irate team <laughs> over to Boneyard. Yeah. With some menacing laughter included. One thing i got to say I love about the Mac 10, the range on this thing is actually pretty impressive, even at long distances. 
It is pretty impressive. Oh, and if he can hold your shot. Have no visual. Recoil is not actually that bad. He's running. Red marker. There's one more, L. One over here. I don't know where he is, though. And coming to an end on this What's video, you? we see a final kill by Elust. A deposit of money. And then me. Oh, I just fucked up the entire randoms game. I shot that balloon there on the last.